My name is Khaled Aziz. I send you greetings from Stanford University in California. I'm a professor here of uh, energy resources engineering. And you might think that uh, energy resources engineering would not have much to do with chemical engineering. So I would like to trace my engineering journey with you and perhaps show you uh, how chemical engineering has been important in my engineering life. I started out at the University of Michigan in 1952 in the aeronautical engineering department. It sounded like a very exciting field, but I soon realized that it was a very limiting area and I wanted to do something which was much broader than that and I switched to mechanical engineering and eventually graduated in mechanical engineering and uh, worked for some time as a mechanical engineer. Then I wanted to explore uh, other aspects of engineering and uh, went to the University of Alberta in Canada to study petroleum engineering where I received both another bachelor's and a master's degree in uh, petroleum engineering. Now, uh, petroleum engineering has uh, strong links to chemical engineering. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, petroleum engineering at the University of Alberta was in the same department as chemical engineering. And uh, I had taken a lot of courses in chemical engineering. After working in the petroleum industry for some time, I wanted to uh, understand and dig deeper into the fundamentals that uh, petroleum engineering is based on. And those fundamentals are largely uh, fundamentals of chemical engineering. So I did a PhD at Rice University in chemical engineering uh, and then started teaching at the University of Calgary in the Department of uh, Chemical and Petroleum Engineering. Uh, this was in 1965. I taught there for 17 years and then moved to Stanford in 1982 in the Department of Petroleum Engineering, which eventually became uh, Energy Resources Engineering. So uh, while I still work on problems related to petroleum engineering, they are based on the fundamentals of chemical engineering. Fluid flow, heat transfer, mass transfer, chemical kinetics, applied mathematics. These are the fundamentals that I have used most in my work as a petroleum engineer. I work in uh, um, computer modeling of oil recovery processes, which requires uh, an understanding of uh, the flow of uh, complex mixtures in porous media. I also work on uh, flow of uh, mixtures in pipes, uh, uh, transportation of oil, gas, and water in, in pipes. And that again has uh, is based on fundamentals of chemical engineering. Uh, I also work on uh, optimization of oil recovery processes, which requires an understanding of both processes and applied math. Again, chemical engineers generally have a good understanding of applied math. So what I'm trying to say here is that chemical engineering is a very broad and a fundamental field of engineering that allows you to work in virtually any area that might interest you. And there are uh, new, numerous problems facing Pakistan and the world that uh, chemical engineers are contributing to and will contribute uh, more in the future. So uh, chemical engineering certainly is a is an exciting and a useful field of engineering. But even more important than selecting chemical engineering is to select something that you're passionate about. And that is how you will excel in that field and you will be able to make the greatest 
number of contributions.